Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is me Pratyush and Packlet is the king of all gaming module. I think so. It has more feature than any other module and it has simple language to use and simple function that you can use to create your own game. So by the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create a very simple endless runner game just like Temple Run and other but using shapes that you can run on your PC and this is very simple to play and code even though. So let's start installing Packlet on our machine. Open up your terminal and type in pip3 install pyglet. If you are using windows then you can type in pip install pyglet and hit enter in order to install pyglet on your machine. So after installing pyglet, let's start creating our game. Alright, in order to create the endless runner game, we need to do three things. The first thing is creating the game elements, the second is obstacle management and the third is game mechanics. So let's start off with creating the game elements. So the first thing in game element is player and ground. The player and ground are the essential part of our game. The player will run on the ground and jump over the obstacle. Let's first set up our project file. So what we want to do is go over to here and create a new and python file. Let's name it somewhat like game. Now hit enter and you are done. First of all, we have to do is import the pyglet and then we will be importing the shapes from the pyglet module and importing the random module in order to create the random obstacle. Now we want to create a window so we just use the function which is pyglet.window and with a parameter like warp the width 800 and height 600 which is great for this game. We will be adding the caption like endless runner game. Let's define gravity, jump speed and tear speed. We will be doing it like minus 900. 500 and 300. Now in order to handle the graphics we will be using dot graphics dot batch method over here. Now it's time to create our player and ground. We will be doing it using the shape dot rectangle method from the pyglet module with a height of 50 and width of 50. So in order to make a square and then we will be adding a color somewhat like this and we will be adding it to the batch. Now similarly we have to create the ground using the rectangle again. So using the rectangle method again but with a different width and height with a different color. Now we will be adding it to the batch. So the next part is to handle the player moment. So now let's handle the player moment. We will drag the keyboard input to move the player right and left as well as handle the jumping. First of all we will be using the key stat handler method in order to handle the keystrokes and we will be also setting the initial player velocity to be zero and an initial method of jumping to be false. Then we will be declaring the player velocity and his jumping as the global statement and we will be using the space method to start jumping. So in this way we can set the jumping to be true. So alright let's head over to the obstacle management. Every good endless runner game needs obstacle to be dodged. Let's create and manage our own obstacles. So first of all let's create a list which will hold all the obstacles over here. Then we will be creating a function to create more obstacle. We will be using random shapes and random rectangles in order to create those obstacle. We will be using append method in order to create endless obstacle on the platform. Now in order to update the obstacle we will be using certain things like we will be increasing the speed so we will be multiplying it with the player speed and in order to remove the obstacle when they are off the screen we will be using this statement. Alright, let's do the game graphics. Now we will be putting everything together in our game loop and handle the game mechanics like gravity, collision and drawing. First of all we will be updating the jump and velocity over here and we will be also applying the gravity like this. Now in order to move the player vertically we will be using the player velocity and multiply it with dt and also add that. Now in order to check for the collision with the ground we will be using ground.y and ground.height method which will check for the collision with the ground and we will be following the same method for creating collisions with the obstacles. And once the player x and y coordinate matches the obstacle coordinates then it will automatically print the game over statement and exit the game. Now again we will be updating the obstacle again. This will handle basically the drawing method or the batch file and we will be scheduling the update function using dot clock and schedule interval with 1 by 60 and we will be setting up the piglet of clock with a lambda method and set the interval to 1.5 now in order to start the game we will be using piglet.app.run method in order to start the game 
and there you have it you have just created a basic endless runner game using Paglet. you have learned how to set up a game window create game element like player and obstacle handle player movement and collisions and more feel free to expand this game by adding features like score power-ups and even different levels so this was it i hope this video was really helpful and if it was then consider subscribing thank you for watching goodbye